Right, do I open the flower? Yeah, I think I've done a little bit. So I can just pull it off. You can see it goes underneath. You can get that off with a Q-tip or your nail. So just like that. A little bit on the end there. So that's my eyes. And then I'm going to go and do my blush now. This is Le Cura, or Le Cura, and I use just a normal brush. This is it. This is from Aldi. There's a lot on this. This is brand new. So I just, I put a little bit on there and then I push it into the mirror and just get any excess off. It's quite strong, this one. So I'm just going to go where you can see the two lights. You can pat it on or you can do little round brush movements like this. If I put too much of this on, it just looks like I've got a really black tan. Not orange. Just to blend it in. Obviously not ideal if you've got a, a white tan. But it just blends your foundation into the rest of your skin. Now you look quite white. Now when we were talking about contouring the other day, again, just get a little bit, put some. I tend to go here, there, and there. I try and make that area dark, that area dark, and the line here. So I'll go underneath and behind my ear, so we don't forget any bits. Like this. Just to create a line so that it's touching on your ear, not there. And that gives you the illusion that you've got a thinner face, as far as you look, you can see. So you can see that it looks a bit chubby here. So just get a little bit more. And just a little bit further up the jaw. To my ear, not forgetting the ear. All around this. Right, now this bit. That triangle I showed you. I go in quite deep and don't forget the ear. I do tend to push quite hard with my brush. You're not supposed to do it like this. It just says the new professionals, but this is how we've always done it. So here, I try and take off, because I've got a high forehead, I try and make it dark there and here. So my head doesn't look too wide. And again, I'm going on my hair here, so it's covering the hairline. And like I say, I have got an MDQ. So it's a level three, uh, two, sorry, in makeup. I know beauty therapy, so I do have an idea of what I'm talking about, I'm not just laughing crap. So like this, don't forget, don't let the ears be too white. Right, and now I'm going to go down here. And don't put too much on your mouth, or you will look like an umbrella Like this. But you can do this with a contouring kit. And sometimes when I go out, I use this. This is just from BM. I prefer Alumni. And it is a contouring palette. To which you've got highlighter and you've got all shades of dark. So the dark, you can see, I use this one. And the light, I use the lightest. So the dark, I would get a paintbrush. I call it a paintbrush. I would just get like a foundation brush. And then I would put a line of brown here, a line of brown there. Maybe fill in a little bit here and here. And then I would put a bit here, a bit here. I would do a V here. So that gives the illusion that you've got a sharp face rather than a rounded face. And then I would go down the nose here, dark. Here, dark, not into the eyes. Here, like that. And then um, a little bit round here. So that gives that illusion that um, when you blend it in, the highlight, the white one, I would put here, and here, and here, and uh, uh, down the nose, and on the tip, that can change the shape of your nose, on the bow of your lips, on the bottom of your lips, and then here. And then you blend it all in. So what I would do is do all them lines, put it all on, and then I'd start to do this. Blend it in until it all, not, not to rub it in, it's not a moisturizer, just to blend it in, like that, just to pat it in, so it still stays there, you don't rub into your skin, it, but it does create that illusion. So that's what I would normally do. And now it's time for my eyebrows. Now I use this one from Aldi. This is Sharp Brows, and it's this color. And the reason I put my hand behind is so it focuses. So you can see my eyebrows are quite thin, but you can see the microblading goes from down there, and it is wearing off now. So you're supposed to do it in lines like this. I can't do it like that, it's annoying. So I literally just get my line. Makes a, just takes a lot of practice, so you just gotta keep doing it. Just get up earlier, put your makeup on, make an effort and do it before work. Not because you look like shit, but honestly, it makes you feel so much better when you put your face on. And I know you think, oh, I can't be asked, I can't be asked, but when you go out, you want to be able to know what you're doing. And all them times you're doing it before work, you're practicing and getting better and better. So when you go out, you can do your own makeup and get it better than nobody can do your makeup unless it's a highly professional person can do your makeup better than you know your face yourself. So you can do it better yourself sometimes. If you were going to a makeup artist, that's totally different. So again, just find my line. In fact, that's a bit low. And do it in good lighting. This is not good lighting. It's just because I could stick my phone to the mirror. So I could show you. Go and find my line. I'm going to bring the patch down. I have to go stupid here. It's got like a, when I did the makeup blazing. Honestly, it wasn't. It wasn't straight, and it wasn't even at all. So I'm quite happy that I can let it fade off a little bit. I thought when I first got it done, oh, I thought it was a bee's knees, but it wasn't. So I don't put too much of the edges, but I do want it to look like I've got hairs there. So again, bring the brow down. It is good if you're trying. Do a little bit of an arch there. And just keep them sharp, them corners here. And remember, brows are sisters, not twins. So this will dry and it will go to look. See, I don't like that. It starts to crumble here. I need a new one. But they will never ever look symmetrical. So they look okay. So they look like eyebrows, they do the job. Again, if I was going out, they would be a lot sharper. But this is just for everyday use. Everyday wear. So just try and not get your lines sloppy. Like that. These ones. You can always tidy them up with a little bit of concealer. But you just you want them to look like brows, you don't want them to look like pencils. And sometimes they if I don't mind too dark, they do look like pencil, but um, you can, you know, get some concealer, put it underneath, and again, you can use your foundation brush and you can just tidy it up like this and get that line and you can put highlighter there as well. 